From Montana's news leader, this is the MTN New News. And good afternoon. Thanks for joining us on the new news on this Monday. I'm Andrea Lutz. This afternoon, there are new details surrounding the cause of a deadly avalanche near Big Sky that claimed the life of a Bozeman resident and an elementary school principal. The slide in Beehive, Beehive Basin took the life of Whittier Elementary School principal Craig Kiddo. He and a friend were on split boards when the avalanche broke. He was carried about 100 yards and hit a tree, was partially buried. He was flown to Bozeman Health where he later died of his injuries. The Gallatin Ca National Forest Avalanche Center is investigating the site today. A bitter cold, powerful snow and dangerous ice as this week a winter storm is affecting two thirds of all Americans. We're starting in Texas where a winter storm progressed across the northern half of the state. Heavy snow blew into Dallas, the heaviest snow in 11 years. At least four inches of snow is expected to fall. And Oklahoma is experiencing wind chills below zero today after a winter storm dumped heavy snow across that state, causing hazardous driving conditions. And road crews in Missouri prepared for a major snowstorm that continued into this morning. The plows and salt trucks were out preparing roads for residents. There is a winter storm warning now in effect along with dangerous wind chills. And here in Montana, the cold persists, but hopefully we are at the tail end of this Arctic blast. Here's mm. our meteorologist now, Miller Robson with the answer. Yeah, they're really getting it down south there in Texas. They've got snow on the Texas-Mexico border. How wow. about that? Crazy. For us, we're starting to turn the corner. This is something we haven't seen in a while. No minuses across the board right now. Here's some numbers for you. Glasgow, you're sitting at three. After 230 straight hours, you have finally risen above zero since 8 p.m. on Friday, February 5th. In Billings, we're at four. We've not been above zero since Saturday, February the 6th. So those numbers will continue to climb. We're still dealing with some wind chills out there, especially up there in northeast Montana. We'll tell you about that and we'll tell you more about this warm up coming, but there's still snow in the forecast. Interesting details coming up. Andrew. All right, Miller, thanks so much. Well, energy companies across the country are asking customers to be mindful of this big demand as the cold weather puts natural gas supplies um, on edge. Energy company officials say they understand you want to be warm, but if the demand becomes too high, it could cause bigger problems. In order to um, relieve any stress on our natural gas suppliers, uh, we are asking our customers, if possible, to conserve energy by lowering their thermostats uh, for the next several days. And the market price for natural gas is high right now because of the widespread cold temperatures. Turning your thermostat down just a few degrees could save a lot of money, officials say. U.S. intelligence agencies are still trying to stop the most sophisticated cybersecurity breach in American history. Nearly a year after it began, experts believe Russia was behind the hack of a company called SolarWinds, sending malware to 18,000 organizations. Russia has denied any involvement in the hack. New guidelines are coming from the CDC aimed at helping schools reopen. Is expected to focus on five key strategies, hand washing, mask wearing, social distancing, cleaning and ventilation. However, the new guidance isn't expected to suggest school staff be vaccinated. A CDC official says many schools were able to reopen before vaccines, but the agency wants to emphasize testing to catch any of those asymptomatic cases. A coronavirus cases are dropping, but health experts are warning it's not the time now to stop being cautious. The average number of cases dip below 100,000 for the first time since November. However, doctors say it's still more than double what we're seeing over the summer. They're encouraging everyone to stay vigilant with their hand washing, social distancing and mask wearing. Montana recorded its lowest numbers of new positive COVID cases in months over the weekend with 67 new cases out of more than 3,000 tests. And for the first time, Montana's largest city is now launching its centralized vaccine clinic Tuesday. People who meet phase 1A and 1B can sign up for a free COVID vaccine at Cedar Hall at the Metro Park in Billings. And new today, online appointment applications are open. Vaccines will be given out Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday of this week. Well, those who've already received a first dose of the vaccine at either Billings Clinic, St. Vincent Healthcare or Riverstone Health should not schedule a second dose at this mass community vaccination clinic this week. 
The second dose should be received from the same health care provider as the first shot. Billings Clinic in St. V's will begin to move vaccine operations to Cedar Hall in the coming weeks, but the public health have 975 doses from last week's allotment that will be given out in the coming days. It was announced just out from the state that we do anticipate a slightly larger allocation of vaccines to the state next week. Um, and over time, we expect that, that those allocations will increase. So we, what we fully expect is that we will um, grow this, the Cedar Hall site as large as it can accommodate and then move to another centralized site, um, so have multiple sites available. Now, a recent study found Montana is the number one state to start a small business in 2021. Well, many factors contribute to how successful a small business can actually be. Things such as tax, climate, consumer spending within the state, along with the rate of new entrepreneurs, as well as the business survival rate over five years, and labor costs all contributing to this new ranking. Entrepreneurship is very important for the Golden Triangle. Montana is number one in entrepreneurship, and we want to keep that and even grow it, which is bucking the national trend. All right, of course, Montana, a great place to do a lot of things. We do have more ahead on the new news on this Monday, including a project to get homeless off the streets and billings, especially during these bitter cold days. But first, Miller Robson's back up with a look at that statewide weather forecast.